Imagine a time when dinosaurs roamed the earth, but instead of scorching deserts or lush jungles, picture a landscape sculpted by glaciers and chilled by icy winds. This was southeastern Australia during the early Cretaceous, over 100 million years ago and it was here that a remarkable creature Kulasuchus thrived. Kulasuchus wasn't a dinosaur though, it wasn't even a reptile, it was a giant amphibian a distant cousin of today's salamanders, but far larger and more formidable. Kulasuchus is a testament to the incredible diversity of life that existed during the age of dinosaurs. While dinosaurs thundered across the northern hemisphere, this giant amphibian carved out its own niche in a land where few others dared to tread. Its story is a fascinating example of adaptation, survival, and the power of evolution to shape life in unexpected ways. Join us as we delve into the world of Kulasuchus, exploring its unique adaptations, its ecological importance, and what it reveals about the prehistoric world. Imagine a salamander, but not the small sleek creatures you might find under a rock today. Picture a creature stretching up to 16 feet long, its massive body as thick as an oil drum. This was Kulasuchus, the undisputed king of the ancient Australian waterways. Kulasuchus was a true giant among amphibians, dwarfing even the largest living amphibians today. Its broad, flat head housed a set of powerful jaws lined with sharp teeth, hinting at its predatory prowess. Its limbs, though short and stout, were strong enough to propel its bulky body through the water, while its long, flattened tail provided the thrust it needed to ambush its prey. Despite its size and formidable appearance, Kulasuchus was still an amphibian at heart. Its skin was smooth and moist, lacking the scales or feathers of its reptilian contemporaries. This meant it needed to stay near water to survive, but in the cool, wet forests of early Cretaceous Australia, it found the perfect environment to thrive. Kulasuchus was the apex predator of its watery domain, lurking patiently in the depths before launching surprise attacks on unsuspecting prey. Its broad jaws, armed with rows of sharp conical teeth, were perfectly designed for snatching and holding onto slippery fish, turtles, and even small dinosaurs that ventured too close to the water's edge. Unlike crocodiles, which rely on brute strength to overpower their prey, Kulasuchus was an ambush hunter. Its flat head and dark coloration provided excellent camouflage, allowing it to blend seamlessly with the riverbed. When a potential meal swam by, Kulasuchus would explode from its hiding place with surprising speed, its powerful jaws snapping shut with bone-crushing force. Once it had a firm grip on its prey, Kulasuchus would use its powerful body and limbs to drag its victim underwater, where it would drown before being consumed. This efficient hunting strategy allowed Kulasuchus to thrive in its environment, securing its position as the top predator of its time and place. During the early Cretaceous, southeastern Australia was a very different place than it is today. Instead of the arid deserts and sun-baked plains we associate with Australia, the region was covered in temperate forests, crisscrossed by rivers and dotted with freshwater lakes. The climate was cool and wet, much cooler than other parts of the world at the time, and glaciers sculpted the landscape. This unique environment played a crucial role in the evolution and survival of Kulasuchus. The cool temperatures and abundance of waterways provided the perfect conditions for a large aquatic amphibian to thrive. The rivers and lakes teemed with fish and other aquatic life providing a constant source of food for the hungry predator. The cooler temperatures also gave Kulasuchus an advantage over its reptilian competitors. Reptiles, being cold-blooded, struggled to maintain their body temperature in cold environments, making them sluggish and less able to hunt effectively. Kulasuchus, however, had evolved adaptations that allowed it to thrive in the cold, giving it a competitive edge in this unique ecosystem. While most reptiles retreated from the cooler southern regions during the early Cretaceous, Kulasuchus thrived. Its secret? A unique set of adaptations that allowed it to tolerate the cold and outcompete its rivals. One key adaptation was its slow metabolism. Like all amphibians, Kulasuchus was cold-blooded, but it had evolved a slower metabolic rate than its reptilian counterparts. This meant it needed less food to survive and could tolerate longer periods of cold temperatures without becoming sluggish. Furthermore, Kulasuchus likely possessed behavioral adaptations to help it cope with the cold. It may have hibernated during the coldest months, burrowing into the mud at the bottom of lakes and rivers to escape the worst of the chill. 
It may have also basked in the sun when temperatures allowed, absorbing warmth to raise its body temperature for hunting. These adaptations allowed Kulasukas to exploit a niche that was unavailable to most reptiles, leading to what paleontologists call the crocodile gap. Crocodiles, being more adapted to warmer climates, were largely absent from southeastern Australia during this time, leaving Kulasukas as the undisputed king of the waterways. The crocodile gap in early Cretaceous Australia is a fascinating example of how environmental factors can influence the evolution and distribution of species. With crocodiles largely absent, Kulasukas was free to evolve into a larger, more dominant predator than its ancestors. This ecological freedom allowed Kulasukas to reach sizes rarely seen in amphibians, and it played a crucial role in shaping the ecosystems it inhabited. As an apex predator, Kulasukas helped to regulate the populations of its prey species, ensuring a healthy balance within the ecosystem. The reign of Kulasukas also had implications for the evolution of other animals in the region. Smaller predators may have evolved to avoid competition with Kulasukas, either by specializing in different prey, or by developing strategies to avoid becoming prey themselves. The presence of Kulasukas in early Cretaceous Australia provides a unique perspective on the evolution of early mammals. Mammals being warm-blooded were also affected by the cooler temperatures of the region. However, unlike Kulasukas, they were not yet large enough to be the top predators. Instead, early mammals in this environment were likely small, nocturnal creatures, staying out of sight during the day to avoid Kulasukas and other predators. This pressure from Kulasukas may have even played a role in driving the evolution of certain mammalian traits, such as increased intelligence, heightened senses, and more efficient metabolisms. In a way, Kulasukas represents the challenges and opportunities that faced early mammals during this period. It was a formidable predator that kept mammals in check, but it also created the ecological pressures that may have spurred the evolution of the traits that would eventually allow mammals to rise to dominance. The story of Kulasukas is not just about a single, fascinating creature. It also provides valuable insights into the complex interplay between climate, environment, and the evolution of life on Earth. The discovery of Kulasukas in Australia, a region not typically associated with giant amphibians, highlights how environmental conditions can create opportunities for unexpected evolutionary trajectories. It shows how a group of animals, in this case amphibians, can adapt and thrive in conditions that might seem unfavorable at first glance. Furthermore, Kulasukas serves as a reminder of the dramatic climatic changes that have shaped our planet throughout its history. The existence of this cold adapted giant amphibian in a region now known for its arid climate underscores the dynamic nature of Earth's systems and the profound impact these changes have had on the evolution of life. Kulasukas, the giant salamander of prehistoric Australia, is a testament to the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on Earth. Its discovery has challenged our understanding of amphibian evolution, provided insights into the ecological dynamics of a bygone era, and underscored the profound influence of climate on the distribution and evolution of species. Though long extinct, Kulasukas continues to captivate our imaginations and inspire further exploration of the fossil record. Its story reminds us that the natural world is full of surprises, and that even in the most unexpected of places, life finds a way to thrive. As we continue to piece together the puzzle of Earth's history, Kulasukas stands as a reminder of the incredible journeys life has taken and the endless wonders waiting to be uncovered. By studying the remains of creatures like Kulasukas, we gain a deeper appreciation for the vastness of geological time and the intricate web of life that has existed on our planet for millions of years. Each fossil discovery brings us closer to understanding the history of life on Earth and our place within this grand evolutionary narrative.